2017 is about to end and this year was all about less bezels, no headphone jack and Snapdragon 835. In 2016, MI Mix started this battle of lesser bezels in smartphone and in 2017, Samsung Galaxy S8 and iPhone 10 took this competition to a higher level. So let's see what 2018 holds for us. This is Tech Choice, let's get started. The first thing we are going to see, or I can say we are not going to see in 2018, are bezels. Samsung Galaxy X, yes, Galaxy X, Samsung might drop the number 9 and directly launch Galaxy X with much improvements. The very first thing it might have is 100% screen to body ratio. In 2013, Samsung presented foldable screen in CES. However, there were hurdles in achieving foldable touch screen. On 30th November this year only, Samsung filed a patent which shows now they have achieved 180 round display. And this kind of technology of screen will lead to this kind of design. An all screen phone in which the screen will merge to all the corners inside more fluidly. Will this be leading to a foldable phone? Absolutely no. At this point, the screen is foldable, but the hardware inside the phone is not. The best model which is nearest to the foldable concept is this. According to renders, a special system of joint is applied in the places of bending to prevent the display from getting shaggy. When folded, the screen remains open. It displays notification, the time, weather and other additional information. So people do not need to unfold the gadget once again. Well, even this is not a perfect foldable phone. A truly foldable phone should be like a piece of paper which can be rolled which is not any near in the future, at least not in 2018. Okay, we are going to see phone with 100% screen to body ratio. Then where will be the fingerprint scanner? Will it be again at the back, of course at an unreachable position in Samsung phones, or it will be dropped by every other brand like Apple did and they will carry with iris scanner or face recognition only. Recently, Synaptics, the leading developer of human interface solutions, you may have heard of this name because your laptop's touchpad is made by them. They have announced mass production with a top 5 OEM of its new clear ID FS9500 family of optical in-display fingerprint sensor. Designed for smartphones with infinity display, Synaptic's clear ID in-display fingerprint sensor magically activates in the display only when needed. So definitely the biggest hurdle has been solved by Synaptic's. We might see phones with in-display fingerprint sensor in 2018. Now selfie lovers, if this is an all-screen phone, where will be the front camera? Maybe there will be a mechanism something like this, which will be activated when you will fire your camera app for selfie. A block may come out at the top, or maybe they will not install a front camera at all. Then what? They might bend the screen to the back side similar to what Mizu did but with double screen. Foldable screen technology will help in achieving this with one single screen. This bent screen at the back can serve as secondary screen to see notifications and use it for selfies from the rear camera. Now let's talk about the cameras in smartphone. Samsung recently launched its flip phone, Samsung W2018 in China, which has f1.5 12 megapixel camera sensor. 12 megapixel is not a big number, but here the aperture f1.5 should be appreciated. So in 2018, we might see camera with f1.5 aperture. In 2017, every flagship was powered with Snapdragon 835. Few days ago, Qualcomm launched its latest chipset the Snapdragon 435 SoC, 25% faster than its predecessor 835. Also, Adreno 630 will increase the graphics performance by 30% over Adreno 540. Thanks to this chip that in 2018 we will be making 4K 10-bit HDR videos at 60fps on our phone and this chipset is also capable of delivering high-quality VR and AR content. Fast charging is of course included in this chip too. This has been upgraded to Quick Charge 4 Plus, which is designed to keep devices cooler and charge up to 30% more effectively and 15% faster than last year's Quick Charge 4 standard. It is capable of up to 50% charge in only 15 minutes. This will be damn good to see in the upcoming phones. 
instead of increasing the battery capacity, the industry is more focused about making the components more efficient. Although this year, Apple put two batteries in their phone to utilize this space more smartly. 2018 might bring some more experiments with the battery. So that's it for this video. If you like this then do give it a thumbs up and if you think that I missed something then do comment it below. All the important links from where I took help are given in the description so check them out. And subscribe us if you haven't already. Keep watching Tech Choice. Thanks for watching.